We're talking with Chow here, who's just come back from a very su successful trip at the American Cup in New York City, where his student, Gabby Douglas, uh, had the top score in the entire meet. Chow, what, how was the trip? Uh, the trip was excellent, wonderful experience, and uh, all of the three USA kids, I think they, they did a fantastic job. They did, and they should be the favorite team come Olympic time. But uh, I think one of the big stories, the big story, was uh, your student, Gabby Douglas. And uh, tell me a little bit about, uh, a lot of people thought she was the surprise of the meet. She, had the, she was uh, competing as, uh, uh, as an alternate, and so her scores didn't count. But she did manage to, to, ring, to, to pull off the best scores. How did that happen? After the World Championship in uh, Japan, Tokyo last year, we start to work on some of the new skills and uh, putting the new skills into her program, the routines, and uh, all the moms, the, uh, the hard work seems like pays off. And America's Cup was uh, our first meet of the year, trying to kick off for the Olympic year. And uh, I think that was a uh, very encouraging uh, results, even though she did not rank for anything, but I think the judges liked her new skills, liked her technique and style. I think um, you know that's a, just a good start. The TV people were just raving about her and saying that you know uh, if she stays in good health, she's almost a lock for the team. And I know you don't like that kind of talk. <laughs> no, nobody is locked at this point. You know, and uh, we still have 145 days ahead of us. And uh, it takes a lot of smart uh, preparations and uh, strategies trying to put uh, your gymnast in the best shape physically, mentally, and gymnastically. So the consistency will be the key. Did that surprise you at all that she was able to pull off that kind of score? Uh, no, I don't think there's no surprises. But uh, I am just happy that the hard work pays off. And I think the Team USA girls can do better. This is just a beginning for everybody. That's a pretty talented team. Is it going to be as talented as the one uh, in Beijing, do you think? Does it have that potential? Uh, I think we're an even stronger team this year. I am very uh, excited uh, to see the new blood, a uh, new kids on the team shooting for London, I think we have an outstanding, outstanding uh, opportunity to be on the very top. Well, they were talking about Gabby's vault, and especially her bars, where I think uh, she earned the nickname the Flying Squirrel. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, her vault got improved, as uh, everybody can see from last year, and also getting more mature technically. And uh, her <laughs> bars, the nickname was from Japan last year, World Championship. You know, we were just practicing in the gym, uh, in the arena, and uh, John Gatter says, whoa, look at that, you look like a squirrel. <laughs> and then Marta was on the side, and she said, yeah, I like that flying squirrel. <laughs> and that, and, and, and Gatter's Jordan Weaver's coach, right, I should add. Right, right, Jordan's so, coach, yeah. But it sounds, like, it sounds great, and it sounds like uh, you're on the right track, and so. Uh, yes, yes, I feel um, very good about where we're at. For this beginning of the season, I think obviously we have a lot of work to do yet to plan ahead, to uh, settle everything down, all the skills, all the routines need to be more consistent. So when we are competing on the bigger meets, so she will be more confident. Well, we're certainly looking forward to watching her uh, progress. So uh, good Thank luck, Chow. Thank you very much.